Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and this video is a little bit different. I'm making this video for a specific purpose. Uh, this is a loadout video for a private patrol class that I'm going to be teaching in July. And uh, in order to better facilitate that class, I decided to make a video for it. So if you are coming to that, uh, that might be a reason that you're watching this video and this will hopefully help you figure out what you need to bring to class. Uh, and if you are not coming to that, well then, you know, maybe this is just for your entertainment purposes. So for this class, just so everybody understands, the parameters are about two days and we'll be in the field doing stuff about four to eight hours each day, kind of depending on how things go. So really what we need to do is we need to have enough equipment on us to sustain us in the field for we're gonna say up to eight hours during the daylight. That's really the mission parameters and that is what we are uh, packing our gear for. There's another unique requirement uh, in that all of the stuff actually needs to be able to fit inside your ruck because uh, when we transport out to the field, we'll be taking limited uh, vehicles. And so you need to pack really tight. Uh, and so everything actually needs to be able to fit inside your ruck. Uh, if you can't, if you have like a bunch of different bags and different things, that's not gonna work for this class. So one of the unique requirements for this class is that all the stuff barring the rifle, okay, the rifle being separate, but everything else needs to fit inside your ruck. So at the end of the day, when it comes time to load up into a vehicle, you take your ruck, you take your rifle, you put that in the vehicle and we're off. Uh, and then when we get to uh, the field and the work site, you can pull your chest rig out and put it on and, and that kind of thing. But you need to be able to fit everything in your bag, otherwise uh, you're, gonna be, you're gonna be hurting. So that is one of the requirements for this. That being said, let's go through it, right? So you obviously have your rifle because that's important. You got to bring a rifle, a real American rifle. You're going to need to have at least two tourniquets. Uh, this is representative here. I have a rifle on the sling, but uh, you need to have at least two tourniquets. So there's one. Uh, you also need to have some kind of IFAC. Uh, that's obviously important in case accidents happen. We're not going to have any, but just in case. Uh, so that's what this is over here. This is an individual first aid kit. You'll need some kind of load bearing equipment. So again, this is representative. This is just a knockoff uh, Haley chest rig. And uh, this has four across the front, right? Four mags. If you're like, Dylan, how many, how many magazines do I need to bring? For this specific class, uh, that's not really important. This is a live fire class. We will be doing some live fire, but not that much. So I would tell you to bring what your, you know, standard combat load is. And if you're newer to this and you're like, I have no idea what the hell that is, yeah, bring about four to five mags, okay? And uh, we'll make it work, that'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, but that is what I would, would do. Bring about four to five mags. And, uh, and if you wanna go more, well, cause that's your standard loadout or whatever, then hey, knock yourself out. You're gonna have to carry it, not me. You do need a way to maintain water. So uh, these are two single quart canteens, right? Uh, you need to have some way to carry water. If that's a bladder, if that's the canteens, whatever, but a two quart minimum is what we're gonna say uh, so that we can go out and move around for a while. We will have some water resupply, so that's not a big deal, but you need to carry at least two quarts on you so that we can be out and moving and grooving for a while. Uh, you need to have a ruck, and that ruck needs to have extra room. So again, this is representative. This is just an army three-day assault bag that I dyed a much better color. Um, so. The ruck needs to be big enough to fit the stuff in the bag, right? That's, that's important. And then needs to also have extra room because when it comes time to actually get out in the field and stuff, we're gonna have extra items that we issue you. So there'll be a couple MREs that are handed out. There might be an e-tool. There'll be some extra medical. There'll be other stuff that you're probably gonna get handed and someone's gonna say, hey, you have to carry this now. So make sure you leave room in your bag, uh, whatever that is, right? One, because you gotta fit your chest ring in there, which you'll normally wear, but leave room for that. And then two, you need room because after you take that chest ring out, you're gonna get handed something else that you gotta stuff in here. So pack light, feel free to, to leave extra room in there because you're gonna need it because you're gonna have to carry other stuff that you didn't bring. That's some kind of team thing that someone makes you carry. Uh, have some kind of rain gear. This is just a poncho. Again, this is representative. We are going rain or shine, okay? So do whatever you want, but I suggest you bring something to potentially keep you dry if weather turns on us. For PPE gear, right, uh, pretty simple, eyes and ears, which I actually forgot, I don't see that I have that out here, but you have to have eyes and ears, so make sure you bring that, that's important. 
Uh, knee pads, if you want them, not required, but if you want them. Gloves, again, if you want them. I would highly recommend gloves. We're gonna be walking around in the woods with all kinds of whatever, uh, and just gloves protect your hands from getting cut up and everything else, so I'm a big fan of gloves, would recommend that. Some kind of cover. Okay, again, this is representative. This is just a bump helmet. You can have a boonie hat, you can have a ballistic helmet, you can have a bump helmet, whatever, whatever your preferred thing is. Uh, you can just wear a baseball cap. I would highly recommend at least a boonie hat uh, because those do a really good job of protecting you from the sun. And again, when you're out two days in a row for you know eight hours at a stretch, you don't wanna get sunburned. That's, that's not gonna be a, a happy thing for anybody. So some kind of cover for your head is important. A camouflage top. Uh, you can wear any camouflage top you want, as long as it's not multicam. Uh, for this specific uh, class, again, the, the instructors and the cadre are all gonna be wearing multicam, so it makes things a little easier to identify. Uh, but you can wear any camouflage top you want, green, uh, fleck tarn, Polish woodland, normal woodland. This is a desert top uh, from the Marines, the United States Marine Corps. Whatever, any legitimate camouflage top that you want, uh, as long as it's not multicam, you should be fine. Uh, the environment tends to have a lot of browns, so anything like this will actually do probably do pretty well. Uh, last but not least, some personal care gear. So you're gonna wanna have some wet wipes. Uh, that's important. I would highly recommend the biodegradable ones because then you can just leave them out there and it's not a big deal to degrade. You'll need a multi-tool of some sort. Uh, that's important just for when things break and you gotta fix stuff, right? And then some way to take notes. So this is just a little notebook uh, with some pens and I should have a Sharpie in here. Uh, no, I, oh, I do, I do have two Sharpies in here. So some kind of way to take notes because that's important. You'll be needing to take notes out in the field and as we move along and you can write down questions, and whatever, uh, take notes, always take notes at a class, but have a little notebook and then have a big notebook because we will have uh, some classroom time and you will wanna take notes in the classroom and then from when you're out in the field, you just wanna carry around a little notebook. So have a way to take notes in both places. If you just wanna have like a medium sized notebook that you carry both places, that's fine too. Do whatever you feel, but have a way to take notes. Uh, one other thing that I just remembered that is not out here is some kind of gun cleaning kit. Uh, if you get a stuck casing or something like that, you'll need a rod to ram that out. So have some way to fix your gun, right? Show up with your gun lubed, ready to go, you know, zeroed, all that kind of stuff. Uh, this is not a rifle course, this is a patrolling course, so you gotta kind of show up with your gear in order. And I know some of you will probably actually end up borrowing gear from some other people that are attending and some cadre that are coming, uh, and that's fine too, we'll square you away. But I hope this is helpful, hope this gives you a good overview of the stuff that you will need uh, for the July patrol class, and uh, I hope we have fun. Do brave deeds, and endure.